Today we're going to take a look at how to set up and install your Beyond Question student response system. Let's begin by taking a look at what's inside the box. Inside the box, you will find 30 student response remotes, one teacher response remote, the installation software, and an infrared receiver with a 10-foot USB cable. The first thing you'll need to do is insert the software CD into the CD-ROM drive. If the CD does not begin to auto-run, open the CD from the file menu, locate the setup icon, double-click on it, click install, I agree, and install again. Once you see this menu, it means the software has installed correctly. At this point, please plug in the infrared receiver into the USB port. Once it's plugged in, click the finish button. Now we're ready to add a class. Begin by going to the file menu and clicking on Save Class As. To save your class, you must choose a location where you'd like to save all your Beyond Question files. I created a new folder and named it Beyond Question. Then for the file name, I chose my first class, first period, Algebra 1. I'll click Save, and now I'm ready to add students to this class. Click the Add Student button, enter in their last name, their first name, their student ID if you want them to have it on there, and you can change the remote number. Continue doing this until all your students have been entered into your class. Once all students have been entered, save the class. To create a lesson, we'll begin by going to the Lesson tab. Go up to File, Save Lesson As, and name your lesson so you'll be able to find it in the future. With the lesson entered, we're going to click Save. Now it's time to add our first question. You can begin by typing in your first question in the lower text box. Underneath the question, you probably want to type in the possible answers for that question. The next step is to select which type of question you're going to be asking. There are lots of possibilities, A through J, 1 through 10, true, false, yes, no, or directional. Also select the correct answer for that question and how many points it's worth. I'm going to repeat those steps until all my questions have been entered and I'm ready to assess the students. Once my lesson is complete, I'll go up to the top and save this lesson. To assess your students, you're going to click on the Remotes tab and click the beginning arrow to go to the very first question. As students respond, you'll see their numbers change at the bottom left-hand screen. Click Next Question to go to the next question. Once all students have responded, you can end your lesson. There are two options for reviewing your answers. The first is to click on the Answers tab. This will show you all the students and the answers that they entered. The other option is to click the Graphs tab. This will show you each question individually and the amount of responses that that, that question received. Thanks for watching all about the Beyond Question Response System.